What's up, people? As I promised you guys, I start to create the videos about the Throne and Liberty build and the uh, skill guidelines for the new players because the global release for Throne and Liberty almost knocking on the door and uh, there is a lot of people who is interested in the game and us as the Korean players, I mean I play this game on the Korean region since its release, we are responsible to show the new players so what uh, is the better guild for them, classes, how the system is work, how the stats are worked in Throne and Liberty and uh, yeah, it, it's our responsibility. So I start to make this kind of video today I have my own one like in stuff and dagger combination and this is my build and I will explain everything in the details why I'm taking this build and uh, I will show you all my points why I do this this is on you this is my build and let me explain and talk about why I took this combination and why I think this is the best uh, you can check my channel there will be other weapons and classes builds and uh, combinations also and there will be kind of volume 1 volume 2 for the different weapons and classes since every week we are getting the update uh, for uh, Throne and Liberty Korean region and they are nerfing something they are buffing something weapons I mean and uh, yes if I see something gets a big nerf or something gets a big buff uh, I will recap the video and I will correct my build First of all, guys, you have to know something. These abilities, attribute abilities in Throne and Liberty is one of the most and one of the important parts since it gives you a lot of uh, proficiency. I mean, uh, I will also make the video how these abilities work. I mean, strength, dexterity, wisdom, perceptions and the other ones so you when you will see this video it will be more helpful for you so before i start this guys i want to ask you to subscribe my channel uh, as you know i'm making throne and liberty guidelines from korean region and i will try to make a lot of videos a lot of guidelines which will be a lot helpful for you as the global players and the new players for throne and liberty once we get the global release for this game and yes if you don't want to miss something and if you want to take a knowledge for throne and liberty you can subscribe my channel if you will like this video also hit the like button let's go and let's see why i choose uh, or someone hit the like nice <laughs> someone liked my build so why took this uh, as a dps mage and you have to know that i'm a solo player this is the important part also and guys before the global i will make the uh, video how these attributes are working and how the stats of uh, crit hit and heavy attack chance are working i have all we old videos on my channel that was the one of the first run and liberty video and I think it's the old and I have to make the new one so every time every time you see the build ending there will be the video about the stats so your idea and my idea have to be to max out these stats right now strange dexterity wisdom and perception at the beginning of the game a lot of player was thinking that the wisdom and perception is kind of magic stats but no in throne and liberty there is not any kind of magic stats if it's not saying especially the mage for example the heavy attack chance is the if something says the heavy attack chance it means for all kind of classes but if something says that the melee heavy attack chance especially it means it's affecting on only for the melee classes right now these all kind of stats are for everyone and trust me this is important if you're physical ads it doesn't mean that you need dexterity or the straight for the hp on blah 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 no you don't everyone need this and uh, after at the five, 50 and uh, 60 i mean 30 40 50 and 60 you have additional bonus stats and uh, this right now right here uh you have to i reach the three of these stuffs like on perception dexterity and straight at the 50 level so i have the bonus additional start from this from this and from this this is really good i mean this is a really good kind of combination because from four start i have maxed all almost three of them uh, it's have the 60 but on the 60 there is not a big uh, uh, additional point f so 50 is a kind of good thing 
So this is the idea for this gear to reach these stats. And uh, when you realize the, how the game is work and how stats are work inside the game, yes, you will understand that these 50s are look so good. I'm um, not only looks; it's it's have a lot of power uh, inside the game right now. So I took this stuff. This not uh, looking best stuff because it's have the cooldown speeds and it's don't have additional skill and something. It's also don't have so big range, but it's have perception and it's have traits three and four. And this perception and traits gets doubled when you once you have enchanted stuff. Uh, your stuff is uh, plus nine, uh, eight. You don't need to have it have to be nine. So I have uh, like an eight perception and uh, uh, seven straights from this. And to increasing these stats, yes, this stuff is really good, right? This position because of this, I, this dagger have straight seven, and once it's once it gets enchanted, it have straight eleven if i remember right yes it was 11 and uh, yes to get the 11 straight from these daggers are so powerful move and so active move so for the um, gear in uh, throne and liberty you are mixing the gear i mean uh, there is the gears like uh, for example if i finish this uh, set it's have two parts uh, a cooldown speed and I if you have four parts it's have the skill heal and if i finish this one it's have the range plus 10 percent for the four part and if i finish this one it's have attack speed plus 10 uh, for the four parts but why i have to finish this i don't need attack speed i don't need right now here uh, the range i don't need the skill heal but i need the cooldown i need the weak i mean i I will talk about this. I need the cooldown from this. I need the critical damage 21% from this. And uh, this mother natural close uh, top is because of the heavy attack chance. It's have 33 and when you're enchanting it to the 10, it will have <coughs> around 100 heavy attack chance. It means 10% additional heavy attack chance. And heavy attack chance is a double damage. If you're hitting someone with your critical damage and uh, critical hit, for example, 3000, if the heavy attack chance will go, boom, it's a double. You will hit 6000. It does not matter, enemy is different or something. So heavy attack chance is one of the biggest damage boost in throne and liberty and you have to work this that's why the straight gives you at 50 point plus 100 i mean additional 10 percent heavy attack chance and yes i it doesn't matter your major uh, your tank or your the dagger or your the bow no you need double damage why not so uh, that's why i took these main gears and this is the part of this this uh, making it's the set for this and uh, this is the reason why you don't need to take exactly the same gears in front and liberty and why you have to mm, why you have to take um, part of this because yes you can make it uh, like that you can take uh, from uh, two sets of uh, parts and additional points and in throne and liberty the two parts always have better stats mostly than the four set of the parts and this is really good idea uh, i have this cloak this cloak i have because of the magic evasion because of the rage invasion and because of the uh, awakening resistance yes in throne and liberty evasion is the meta right now if you have more than 1000 1, evasions trust me at the global release if you create your character correctly uh, you will be untouchable you just need to know exactly the name who knows how to play this game and you have to kill them first and if you if that people is not hitting you trust me random players could not even touch you yeah that's how it works that's why you are putting these evasions on the gear and yes the accessories i uh, worked for the same ideas i need evasion from accessories and i need attributes like a straight plus 14 this is really good necklace for me and uh, i needed perception plus four but it's it's only zero once you're enchanting it's getting uh, so much uh, this web page is not showing the enchanted ones but if you're edit this here it's increasing the stats here 
uh, just uh, let me show you you see it's g it's decreased to six wait where it was and it's increased to six so it's only four it's additional two points so the system counts as the maximum mentioned but it's not showing here so try it like that these rings are also good rings right now it's increasing the straight and movement and it's increasing the range and the wisdom and this is the really good belt straight plus two and the movements please plus a two percent so guys uh, this um, combination i think it is uh, the best one right here for me and i would change something if i would change the skill if i would change this skill mm, this is my skills uh, this is the mage i'm playing mostly the mage class right now this is my mage combination I c i'm using this one so this is the pvp one not the farming or the uh, pve one so yes this is the uh potion one i i i i play kind of this you know i activate this i use the massing uh if there is more than two people massing this so this uh, venom is injecting and yes i'm trying to hit uh, those skills uh the passives these passives give me the heavy attack chance 10 percent 100 means 10 percent and this one is the resistance for the silence resistance for the Mm, uh, additional debuffs this is the this one is boosting my dps this is the hp mostly i don't looking for the mana but i look for the hp one hundred and uh, one thousand twenty two hundred hp is so big deal this is the crit one this is additional critical damage and this is the evasion of the magic and ranged evasion and this is really good skill uh, this one right here is a kind of thing which you can re uh, uh, exchange to this daggers one and if you I if you're planning to play with this dagger one because this skill is also good you can change your uh casting speed one to let me show you to the heavy attack chance one which was which one had the heavy attack chance just give me a second I didn't took it because it was a melee heavy attack chance. It was saying that it was the melee. One critical damage. No, no, no. What the fuck is this? And damage reduction. This, no. Yes, yes, this one. Just a general fury. Uh, it's uh, it, if it would not say the melee heavy attack chance then if it would say the heavy attack chance i would take it anyway but if you are planning to use that skill which is uh, hitting so much if the uh, enemy's hp is the 50 percent you can take this because it will uh, hit you i mean it is additional 15 percent so you can you could just take this and where it was um it was the fury where is the fury 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 mm. what the fuck is fury uh, my god where the fuck is fury Not a mother nature no yeah no this one no this general one so yes if you would take this uh, you can modify these sections like decrease this and increase this oh you can even increase this too much check this out yes it's it, if it would be better you know I even thinking to play with this I don't know I'm not sure maybe maybe because i see now it's way better because those ones are giving a lot of mm, a lot of stats right here dexterity and straighty i can exchange those ones so yes i don't know let's save this by yield i like i like this really uh, the, these combinations and i will think about it mm, but you know then i need to change the dagger and that's additional thing so that was that guys i hope i i explained mostly why i took this gear for myself this is my target for the global release of throne and liberty hit me in the comment if you like the idea or if you would modify it some things 
inside this uh, uh, inside this gear I I am really uh, happy to hear any kind of opinion about uh, my build uh, why not if you if you will say something good I can understand it and I can make a correction before we get the global release so this is the volume one for uh, for the stuff and dagger uh, guideline video and uh, yes if when you're watching it you can check the comments if people are posting something better um, and it may uh, interested you and it, it may affect to change your idea so I'm not forcing you anything this is my own idea this is my own plan and this is the thing what I think is the best for me uh, so Thank for that for you watching this uh, video guys uh, as I promised you I will make the video about the um, Grets for the about the uh, bows about the stuff or stuff and want and all kind of uh, weapons I will make the video guidelines what I think is the best and stay tuned guys uh, subscribe the channel if you like the video hit the like button and as always see you in the next video